Anyways, let's see how we go. Has been a while since I've last been here, that's for damn sure. There's a high pressure on a gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on, and the gas cylinder may be removed. Isn't that wonderful? What the hell? Oh, it's the light flashing. I didn't actually know that it like flashed like that and um, lit up whoever it was. Huh. Interesting. I've never seen that. Come over here. There's Sherry. Sherry! Except... <laughs> Giant fucking alligator. So, let me put down another save state for this. So, dealing with this giant alligator is usually, usually it's easy enough. Um, he's obviously incredibly big, he's incredibly dangerous, and you are not getting past this guy. Oh, shit. So, what you would normally do here is you would return to this situation, you would press this button here, and the gas can comes out. And what you would do is wait for the alligator to come up here. You would um, wait for him to get that and take it in his mouth. And you'd shoot it and blow his head off. This is a knife run. I don't think I can do that. I don't know if this is going to work. Should we find out? Ow. Nope. You can see I'm doing some damage. You can see he's still beating the absolute tar paper out of me. Which is a problem. And I say, there's no way past. In fact, if you do try and go past, he will just instantly crush you and kill you. Seemingly. Although, seemingly putting the um, thing in his mouth does make him more passive. Otherwise, he'd just dive around like a madman. What happens out of curiosity if I was to try and leave and come back? Oh, shit. It's actually locked. Huh. I see. The panel down the back also locks this door. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yes, you see, if you don't speed up... Yeah, you see, without that, he's, like, super quick and super damn dangerous. And it's pretty... It's pretty bad. And you don't want to try fighting him otherwise, because he's just going to murder you. And you see, the amount of damage he does is ridiculous. You can simply do a bit of damage on the corners though, but yeah, you see the situation you got here. We've basically got to stab this damn thing. This is going to require a shit ton of damn health. Simple as that. Ow. It was like, fuck that trap! <laughs> so, yeah, this is inherently a problem. So I think the only thing I can do here in regards to this being a, um, a knife run is I think I'm just going to have to take all the health I've got and just try and stab this guy to death. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. I really don't know. Unfortunately, that I, I overwritten my, the other save point, which I kind of needed. So, you guys are going to have to give me a moment. I'm going to go and get all of my health. Because I didn't know, like, if I grabbed the... Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's try one more thing. Let's try one more thing out of some curiosity. I literally do not know if it would work. Can I actually damage this with the knife? No. I can't. I was hoping maybe I could, like, stab it. But it doesn't work like that. So, yeah. That's not going to work, everyone. Also, I've just killed the audio track. Oops, not that one. So, yeah. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go and get all the health I can physically hold. 
which is six fuel heels worth or as much as I can physically, yeah, hold on to. And yeah, I guess I'll see you back where we're going to attempt to knife this damn thing to death. Unfortunately, like I say, if this does not work, there is one thing I have considered doing. I don't know whether everyone would be happy with it though. But hopefully we can stab this guy and move on with our lives. So uh, give me a few minutes and I will be right back with you guys to try this properly. Alright folks, so we are back, um, we are about ready to give this a proper college try, and uh, this here represents every single piece of health in my entire, that I have. This is everything we own. Um, the other blue-green combo I just used outright just to make sure I had max health. Um, this is everything we've got. This is all the health we've acquired and got hold of it during the game. I've got so much, I've actually left the valve handle just so I can take the extra green combo with me. Um, green blue combo, just to have that little extra bit of health. So even when I do this, I'm going to have to backtrack again to get the valve handle, folks. I do not know how well this is going to go. Time to find out. Yeah, it's that thing, that box there. It locks this door, it also locks Sherry! the back door, so... Right. Put a handy state down, just for time convenience sakes. There we go, that'll do. Alright then. So how do I want to fight this guy? Let's just try for now, just stabbing him outright, and just not messing about. Just attack as much as I can. And just see what happens if I just keep doing this. Also, Shadow, if you're going to do this, you need to remember to heal yourself. That was bad. The thing I don't also know as well, actually, is... Um, Where's my music? Thank you! I was wondering where that was. So yeah, the only thing I don't know is like, um... I don't know how much health this thing has as such, I've never killed it normally. Um, I always have to bear in mind, I need to heal the... I need to heal. Ooh! He did not like that. I don't know why that simply did that, but it did. So, it still seems to be trying to catch him, like, on the, uh, on the corners here. Seems to be an effective spot to, like, get some hits on him. That hurt. Ow. Ow. You hit me twice. Are you kidding me? Alright. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Right, one thing I need to do is I do need to, um... That's annoying that it keeps cutting my music out. I do need to consider looking to... If I get the... I'm trying to think. I don't know if it's going to help to get the canister down. I guess it, like, distracts him for a moment, right? Good job, Shadow. Well done. Wow, I'm not getting hits off at all here. The other thing I don't actually know is what happens, like, if you get stuck on the door at the back end? Way. Get some hits there. Shit. Damn, that's no good. Yeah, so you got the door back here, but I don't know what happens, like, if you just simply run out of space, you just instantly die? I don't know! I wish I could tell you. I honestly have no idea what happens. Oops. Oops, I didn't actually mean to use that. Oops, Daisy. So do I just die now? I do. Oh, man. Never seen that death animation before. That's good. 
I could have gone my whole life without seeing that. <sighs> so I'm also on a time limit as well. You know what the worst part about this situation is? If you don't kill the alligator with the explosive, you have to do this boss fight all over again in the B game. I guess I'm just tanking damage. I can't believe how much damage I've just taken for like two knife hits. like that, did he? He did not. But yeah, now it's so far, I can't do anything with it. I need to make a decision how I want to approach this fight. Because doing that does at least distract him, and it slows him down as well. He doesn't, like, die for you crazily when you do that. And getting him on the two junctions aren't too bad either. Let me tell you how aggravating getting hit like that is for doing like no damage. What? Fuck you! I actually missed. Taking so much damage. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's also I also trying to work out like if there's any spot that's well, I mean just like stabbing him like in the front, I'm getting hit so much. It is sort of seemingly better to kinda of, like be on one side of him. Um you seem to just get more shots off. He's got a dodge lock like the front of his jaws. That's not good. Gosh. Now I'm just missing hits and everything. This is terrible. Right. Let's try this strategy here, folks. Let's say I come back here immediately and trigger that. I'll stab him on the corner because at least it's harder for him to hit me. Like you're seeing here. So getting some shots off, that's not too bad. And he says, he's like, lol, lol, I'll just hit you twice. I'm like, you fucker. Right, so we're just going to go with this for the moment. It does seem to slow him down somewhat. Oh, shit. The thing is, I have no idea how many hits I've got to land on him. How much health have I got? I've got enough for a hit or two. Not anymore. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do here. I don't even know if this is doable with a knife. I mean, like... I... Good job. I mean, like, I assume this is doable with a knife, but... I'm a bit sceptical, folks. Yeah, do you, do you want to hit me any more times? Wow. Three unanswered shots. That's really cheap of the time. 
Swings downwards seem to be quicker. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. Yeah, this is faster for sure. I didn't know I had so little health. So I can take three hits that I need to reheal. Basically. Right, so now he's going to get on this corner bit. So I can do some hits here. In theory, without getting hit very much, as he then proceeds to hit me several times without me doing anything. It's just like trying to get like the best of both worlds, and you can't really do that. Yeah, this is... Alright, so if I run back now, make sure this is triggered. Oh, fuck, I'm not close enough. Hmm, that seemed okay. And we're just going to have to outstab this fucker. And make sure not to get caught on danger. And not to get caught in this corner here. Because he seems to have a habit of just like... Slipping past so he can insta-kill you. Oh no, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Doing damage here. This is actually not bad. This is the one bit I legit had no fucking idea how I was going to do. Because I know he's got so much health. I mean, ironically, I'm not even getting through half my health. Because I'm getting killed before that. Because I'm running out of time. Fuck me. I was getting a lot of hits off him as well. No, Shadow. If you're going to do this... Alright, if I just run, make sure to get this fucking thing triggered. Come on, come on. So yes, this certainly seems to slow him down a little bit. Oh, God's sakes. That's no good. So, yeah. This is basically all I can really do. Um, and I don't know if this is doable. I legit don't know. I, I assume it is. Somehow. be kidding me. He just like, just ran right past. It was right there as well. It wasn't like I hadn't done it. God sakes. I'm going to give this another couple of tries and then I'm going to have discussion time with you all. I think this is what this is going to go to here. Ow. A few more of those would help, for sure. Take one more. Oh, give me a break. No, it's no good. 
I mean, that's the worst part, is the fact that you've got that situation there where, like, you just run out of space and time and you can't do anything. Oops. That was kind of bad. Where the fuck's his hitbox there? You see it like three or four swings that should hit and they don't. Which is beyond annoying. The problem is, is that there's not even any strategy to this really. This is just like, just swing and just kind of hope you get a bit lucky I guess. So I'm just going to say, fuck that thing. Because that's just, like, not helping at all. So you got a critical hit. The critical hits are nice, because it does slow him down. Oh, man. And then there's that stupid hitbox on the side, where he just, like, says, lol. I'm just going to fucking insta-kill you, because I can. Which is... I get why it's there, but that is really aggravatingly placed. I mean, like, where the fuck's its hitbox there? I have legit no idea. Right, I'm gonna try this one last time, and then we're gonna have a chat here. I'm gonna have a proper try without getting insta-killed like that. Ideally. I really appreciate if you don't insta-kill me. Like I said, I get it because the game has to stop you from like just getting past somehow. I understand that. It has to stop you from being able to get past him. But still. Ow. Oh, damn. And even stunning him doesn't really help much. God. I don't know what I could have done more here. I really don't know what more I could have done there. Yeah. <laughs> 